like. It's a pretty great deck. See you guys in a minute. Stagecoach. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. All right, cool. Hey guys, we're back. Let's get going. Deck's doing fairly well right now. Well, maybe not. We are two. Two wins. Deck is slow is the biggest thing. And we're seeing I'm playing a lot of fast, rushy decks right now. Yeah, you had some someone sub while you were uh Oh, I missed away. a sub. I had a couple subs. I missed um Sipper Slitter and uh Dynamodes. Both subbing. Thank you both for the support guys. Welcome Another to the channel. Poor fool lost in time and space. And Eliza Sons. Thank you also. Cheers guys. All of you, welcome to the channel. Uh we're gonna mulligan this. You don't have any friggin' lands. Even yeah. on the draws, this is it's not good enough. Um, that looks pretty shit too, but at least we have playables, so I'm gonna two, keep it. We have, we have two lands and a playable creature. Ah, we're and, good. Uh, yeah. Perfect, we're fine. Yep, we're good. Okay, we are on the draw, right? So, mm -hmm. okay. Memorial Genius down mm -hmm. on one is great. 
Yeah, we should have a pretty decent curve with Voltaic Servant Academy, Drake, Ballad. Yeah. Guess, uh, I don't have to do it this turn. Next turn, I want to start playing Black Mana. I guess I get Runner, Runner, 4 drop. Yeah, yep. Exactly. Thank you, Trefix. I do indeed. Play Magic the Gathering, or rather, have for the last couple weeks here. Okay, that's a little bit scary right now, for sure. I was not, not expecting that. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, it's kind of uh, awkward. Drakes awesome. don't. Yeah, right. Thank you for the subs. Trefix, much appreciated. And yeah, having a blast with the uh, MTG Arena right now. So, another race deck. I wasn't expecting that with the Arcanist down. I mean, a 3-4 with Menace is pretty decent. I mean, he, he did miss his land drop, so I can kind of see why he did it. He needs to start doing something, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try to dual block it with the... Oh, wow. I don't think we dual block it at all. I think we just play the Omnivore, and then the turn after we can play the Thalid and attack and like do a billion damage with the Omnivore. You want to race? He's quite a bit ahead of us right now. He's not that far ahead of us. Feels a lot ahead of us. I mean, we'll be at 11... He's got a trick too. What do you think the trick is? Ship and fire. Okay, now I can maybe see blocking. I was thinking of blocking with Thalid plus Servant. That's what I was wondering about yeah. instead I of playing on the board. I think I like that now that he killed our, our Drake. It is a bit of a blowout if he's got a, another combat trick. Which he might on two mana. I mean, if he's got it, he's got it, right? We can't we can't just do nothing, so... Yeah. And I guess next turn we have the better threat with uh, Omnivore. Because uh, yeah. we can have five to eat the token. And gain two life, which yeah. is probably going to matter in this matchup. Yeah, it might. We're running out of value pretty quick, though, here. Yeah, hopefully After that we, mulligan. Uh, hopefully we hit the, a big one. Flying haste. <laughs> okay. This is fine for the blocks, though. Yeah. He only gets the one. We have a blocker for that. It's just a little bit hard to block a, this guy because he grows on instance. It's a good one. So I'm Drake here and I'm going to block and I'm going to fungal it if he grows it once. Mm. You want to race that's, instead? That's one option. The other option is just playing the, uh, the Omnivore and holding up the fungal infection. And like... You can Drake next turn and hold the fungal infection because, like, we can gain four life off the omnivore now. Yeah, which is pretty good. Two life, right? Oh, fungal well, infection. Yeah, so, yeah, so, okay. Yeah. I, I like developing the creature as well, to be fair. I don't know. It's just, and I wouldn't mind playing Drake. I mean, if we draw a land next turn, I don't know. Are we waiting on Drake to kick it? Because we have, I don't know. Probably we'll see. not. We'll see. But we'll he's got a lot of cards in hand. Is. This is the one thing. If he's able to pressure us on two lands, well, suddenly he gets value by having a million fucking creatures afterwards because he hasn't hasn't drawn any lands, right? And like, if he has the other instant now, he has a two two with haste that we can block with the omnivore, so we would have gained we would have gained some life. Well, the servant could block a two two. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I wanted to look. This guy is a fungus. Is he when he eats fungus? Oh, Saplings. Okay. Like... Face, face, face. Red, blue face, again. Face. More face again. All right. Seems good. This is real good, actually. I genuinely like just killing him, or attacking with our Omnivore, and then if he blocks, we can sack stuff. If he doesn't block, we can just kill his uh, flying creature right now with double fungal infection while he's tapped out. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think that's just fine. Like we can we can block with the Drake and the Servant and like some saplings or something. He's gonna I take three. He's gonna take the three. So there's a hundred percent chance he takes the three here. Totally happy of getting rid of this flyer with I don't have to trade my Drake for it. Yeah, I'm really glad about that. We got we have six more life on the board represented right now from this Appalings. Yeah, radiated lightning incoming. That would be the worst card for us in this situation. 
I think I'm blocking Journey Mage with Drake if he offers it. I think we swing through on the, no, on the I ground. Agree. Yeah. I agree with that for sure. Because, yeah. I like blocking both of his dudes here. Yeah, me too. I don't want to take any more damage. I agree. Uh, I guess uh, your first, stri uh, first strike is an instant. Yeah, it is. So he might, he might eat the Drake. We'll see. It's not super huge concern. We have six life on the Sapperlings from the Omnivore, right? So. Yep. And even if we draw a land, we can sack a Memorial Genius on his own stuff and, and cash it. There's the run amok. Okay. Ugh. We still attacking here? Another fucking journey mage. Wow, almost killed us this turn. If we hadn't blocked Lava Runner, we died. Yeah, I don't think we can attack here. No, I don't either. I he he understands now how bad that is if he attacks. Well, here's the issue though, right? So I want to draw. If he's got direct damage in hand, we die to drawing. Yeah, he has instant face burn. Is there instant face burn yeah. in this format? Yeah, radiated lightning. <laughs> Which would have killed us anyways, right? No. Yeah, maybe not. Not with three open. No, it would not. There is... I don't think Shivan fired his face. No, it doesn't. So I don't know. I think we have to do, risk it. I think, I, think I, I think we risk it. Yeah. If he's got it, he's got it. Like, the odds of him having it are pretty low. Getting a little bit of gas is fucking great. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we're playing the Servant here, right? Yeah, I, I don't think... Mana think open to, yeah, exactly. To That's what right? I was owing at, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think we attack with the uh, Omnivore this time. Oh, not a chance. Well, we have... We can block with Sacrilings and then sack them to the Omnivore to the game, like afterwards right so yeah but still like you like this as a that is a play I mean, he's not gonna block it he's just gonna take three I and mean, he's not gonna attack can us he either. take can he blo not block it we can grow this four fucking times that's not lethal it's eight it's 11 it's it's two off yeah so if we get one i guess if we get one more attack then we can threaten lethal every turn with this yeah exactly <sighs> it's a very aggressive attack Look, we've got five blockers i think it's okay okay yeah. <laughs> the, the fun of Voltaic Servants and multiples. Yeah, Trifix. I don't mind saving lands too, but right now we actually need lands on the board very badly. We needed it before for our memorial, and we need it uh, for being Ugoros and still having the ability to sacrifice tokens. Okay. So if he doesn't block, he dies. Yeah, same thing. Okay, it's fine. Yep, it's fine. All right, play the land. I'm gonna play this dude. Keep one land up for health. Yeah, I think keeping one land health up for health is enough. Is enough or isn't? It, it should be enough, because even if he has three direct damage to face, we still live. Yeah. He would need two cards. I don't think there's a single card that does more than three damage, direct damage to face in this format. I don't remember there being any Lava Axes or anything. I don't remember either. Oh, there is. There's that kicker card, uh, Fight Fire, and it triggers on eight. It's nine. It's six and then three, right? What is he buying back? I don't know. He's going to discard it as soon as we attack him with Ugoros. So I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> He's shivin' fires is one. Yeah, he's got a shivin' fire. He's gonna kill one of our tokens, I guess. He took run to amok him. like an idiot. Okay. okay, he can't win with that. He just literally loses it to you, Goros. And they immediately conceded afterwards. <laughs> returned. Welcome back, awesome. Oak Dragon. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, that was close though. He's another fucking aggressive deck. Another blue red aggressive deck. Do we want to do anything about this? Uh, do you want, I can... want sparring construct in there? Yeah, I could see an argument. Like we're on the draw, I could see an argument for the sparring construct and dropping a dark bargain. Yeah, that's my my take too. Like if we can ever make a voltaic servant or our Volvian arcanist a two four, like that's a great creature in this matchup. So yeah. 
Yeah, that was a little bit of tricky, tricky little bit of uh, play there. Dino Blade, but fun, fun one. I mean, this is when we want him. We got four. This seems fine. Yeah. That's the that's the hand we want. We got two good one mana cards and a borrow on four. I may actually not play this barn construct on turn one here to make sure we get the two two sapperling. I'm fine with that. We have no other play. Like I don't. He's he, it's not like he played a one that we need to block or anything, right? So. That plus one plus one counter is going to be pretty valuable, I think. Mm, I think it might trade a second the token, might trade for something else with that. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. He's shivin' fires that. I'm going to be okay with that. Yeah, I mean, that's super awesome, too. Do we care? Yeah. No, that's fine. All right, I don't give a shit at all. So, all right, we're getting closer to turn four, right of Belzenek, Benzelic. He wants, this, he wants to hold and use a burn spell and not do a two drop, like we're super happy with it. So we kill that with Fungal. What is their resolution here? Why is it holding like this? Okay. Can act like we're mana screwed on our color. I like that. We don't have double blue until six, so we yep. don't need to worry about playing a blue until turn five. Exactly. Yes, of course, another journey mage. So I was gonna say, like, if I was, I actually was wondering in my head if he was gonna fuck up and attack first, but. Why is a no blocker highlight? I don't I don't want a no blocker, I want to block. Alright. The right down. I might settle the score on the journey mage next turn. We'll see what he plays. Probably not, but maybe. It'd be nice to slow down his pressure. I don't really feel like feeding him my tokens. If he doesn't play a creature, I I, I don't think it's terrible to just kill those three two. Yeah. Still don't think it's terrible to kill it. I'm 100% killing it. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're taking the five. Oh, absolutely. Not a chance of blocking that. We need our token. It looks like he's gassing out. Oh, that's a sick draw, too. Yeah. Okay, get a two for one out of that. We got value in hand, a lot of value if we can get there. He looks like he's out of cards to me. Yep, yeah, any spell or land here is gonna be pretty good, so. I'm gonna, I'll take the one from that, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly, any spell or any land. That creature's not so good. But I guess it, <laughs> yeah, it blocks his dude, right? Yeah, I mean, it's one more thing that blocks his, blocks his dude, and it's one more thing to sack to our demon if we need it, right? Because yeah. he has to kill yeah. all the tokens. Yep. Granted, we had the fungal infection as a backup for that, but... Uh, sure. You got a run amok there? I'm okay with run amok yeah. here. In case he has double run amok, I think we just block with the 1-3. So it goes up to a four. We can shrink it down to three. It still kills us. That's fine. I'm fine with taking one point of trample. Yeah. I don't think that does anything. We had a fucking demon. Oh, I would have. Yeah, no. Why didn't I have his block with demon, Suey? Well, because he might have two double run amok. We want the demon. I would have. I would have risked double run amok there. I think. I don't think it's necessary. I just totally. Just totally blanked on the fact my demon was out. Alright. I even like the Hummer. Alright, let's swing with the demon, see if anything changes here, board state wise. 
Nah, I don't know about misplay. I mean, you could be, you could argue we were being very defensive about it. He's clearly got an instant. It keeps pausing. He didn't play anything on a bunch of fucking mana. So he clearly has an instant. No matter what is it. The second run amok is actually possible. Yeah, I mean... Barely. The only, mm. like, the, the way we win, we lose that game is if he kills our demon, we brick every turn for the rest of the game. I mean, he's assuming... Oh, we he can't. Any we land. Can. A black right, land I we mean, play Ergus. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I, I'm saying that we know that, but he doesn't know that, so he's like... I don't know. No. For just protecting the demon there is fine. Sure. And his other card was a shift and fire. He would have been able to kill the demon. Yeah, that's interesting. Would have three for one him on that. Would have been a three for one, yeah. But it would have put him in top deck mode, and we'd be in a very weird spot as well. I was actually considering having you fungal infection there uh, to speed it up to a two, two, two turn clock. That's still a two turn clock now. Because we drew the servant. Like, if he. Well, he's not going to attack again because we played the servant, but. Get a creature out of that. Still gonna attack now. I expect him to. He tried to force through one damage, right? No, nope, doesn't want to. Okay. Demon eating all the clerics. What does this demon even look like? I can't even tell where the demon is on that. Oh, I see him now. No. Okay, okay, that's okay his we, we win <laughs> if we grab his haste creature. Uh, do we maintain haste? Do we have two spells in our graveyard? No. Yeah, we do. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, maintains its haste then. All right. So we push through. No, we don't win. He blocks the two. He takes seven. He's at one. Oh, yeah. I did bath bad. Yeah. Okay, we played the Gugaros then probably. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Demon has been eating these clerics up. Glad we don't have to deal with them after that. All right, he was really fast the first game. Second game, he just did not have enough gas to keep going, did he? No, oh, he petered out real quick. Okay. Uh, all right, let me just track these real quick. So uh, that was them. This was them. Did we just play that? Could I not track this guy at all? I don't think I did. Okay. So this is just another is it deck. We played two in a row. The last guy was is it two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So did we mull on this one? We didn't. And we went... They went first on that. We double won that. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, this deck has been performing extremely, extremely well. Have we dropped a game yet? Yeah, we dropped... Oh, uh, the one where we kept the one. Yeah, we dropped a match yet. Yep. Yeah, we dropped a match. Yeah, we dropped a match. Um, oops, just added them in. I mean, it's, you got to say it's performing as expected is kind of with the amount of bombs and ridiculousness we drew in this deck. Yeah, I mean, like having having four mana bombs is uh, pretty significant. So we broke even, which is great. Yeah, I'm tracking stats, traffics. Find them there. It's a public uh, spreadsheet. It's not good right now, particularly. It's uh, in progress. One of my mods is building it for me. And uh, it's kind of a work in progress. But all right. Yeah, that's right. We dropped against the Siege Gang dude with the really, really fast deck with uh, very good synergies. Blue-red again. Yeah, or not blue-red, yeah, black-red. It was Rakko. 